If someone genetically modified a tomato blueberry mashup thing that basically looked like a purple tomato with purple skin and purple flesh, would you eat it? Well, if you're an American and said, hell yes, let me try that weird crap, then I have good news for you. Soon, you might be able to do just that. Back in 2008, Professor Kathy Martin, a fellow at the Royal Society, first created this purple tomato at the John Innes Center in the UK. You have to be really smart to be a fellow of the Royal Society, you know. They don't just let anyone in. And so Professor Martin put all of those smarts into making this purple tomato. She and her team added two genes from snapdragon plants and one gene from Thalecress to a tomato. Those genes boost the plant's ability to make something called anthocyanins, which are those beneficial antioxidant pigments found in superfoods, as some people like to call them, like blueberries. This team then took the resulting purple tomatoes and ground them up into a powder, and then they fed that powder to some mice, and guess what? Those mice lived nearly 30% longer than those on a standard diet, as well as those on a diet supplemented with powder from just normal tomatoes. That was back in 2008. Now cut to 2021, when an American company named Norfolk Plant Sciences applied for approval from the U.S. Department of Agriculture to sell their genetically modified purple tomato based on this work to Americans everywhere. There are other benefits to these purple tomatoes, too, other than the added boost of antioxidants that they claim. The higher level of anthocyanins doubles the shelf life of the tomatoes as well, which means they can help reduce the amount of food waste in communities where they are sold. Norfolk Plant Sciences intends to sell seeds to gardeners as well as supply fresh tomatoes and other tomato products to shops. The only thing stopping them now is that they're waiting on approval from the U.S. government, who is supposed to get back to them within 180 days of the application. That deadline has come and gone already because, you know, government. But Norfolk Plant Sciences remains optimistic, saying interactions with the government have been 100% positive. So, my fellow Americans, if you said, hell yes, you want to try the purple tomato, you might soon have your chance to do that. How many of you weirdos there are out there wanting to buy these things from Norfolk Plant Sciences and eat them? Well, that remains to be seen.